Crystal Palace's iconic stadium, Selhurst Park, is embarking on a $100 million transformation that promises to redefine its place in English football. While this investment is smaller than the lavish budgets of some of the Premier League's top clubs, it represents a major step forward for Crystal Palace, a club that has captured the hearts of fans across the country with its distinct identity and passion. With a design inspired by the original Crystal Palace and an enhanced seating experience, Selhurst Park is about to undergo a major transformation. However, given the stadium's deep historical significance, the big question is, can this bold $100 million redevelopment propel Selhurst Park into a thrilling new chapter, or will it strip away the timeless charm that fans have always loved? Let's find out. For nearly a century, Selhurst Park has been the beating heart of Crystal Palace Football Club. Since its opening in 1924, this South London stadium has been more than just a place to watch football. It's a fortress of memories. From nail-biting last-minute goals to unforgettable Premier League and FA Cup showdowns, the energy of Selhurst Park has always been electric. Unlike massive stadiums like Old Trafford or Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, Selhurst Park isn't built for size or grandeur. It's about intimacy, the kind of atmosphere that makes fans feel like they're part of the action. And with a current capacity of 26,000, it has served Crystal Palace well for decades. But with the club's growing popularity and the Premier League's increasing global reach, ticket demand has soared. Now Crystal Palace is stepping up to meet this challenge with a bold plan to redefine their beloved home. This $100 million renovation project is more than an upgrade. It's a tribute to both history and progress. Drawing inspiration from the iconic Crystal Palace Exhibition Building of 1851, the redesigned stadium will feature a stunning glass facade. This architectural nod to the past will bring a modern touch to the main stand, flooding it with natural light and turning Selhurst Park into a South London landmark. But this transformation isn't just about modern looks, it's about creating a better experience for fans. The expansion will increase capacity to 34,000, adding 8,000 new seats so more fans can be part of the action. Inside state-of-the-art lounges, improved accessibility, and enhanced hospitality areas will elevate match days to a whole new level. And the Holmesdale End, famous for its passionate supporters, will continue to deliver the deafening roars that make Selhurst Park one of the toughest grounds for visiting teams. The project aims to modernize Selhurst Park while preserving its unique character. To improve hospitality, Crystal Palace is making creative use of its existing spaces. Old office areas in the current stand are being repurposed into upgraded hospitality sections, and temporary facilities will be placed in the car park during the transition. The centerpiece of this transformation is the complete redevelopment of the main stand. Originally built almost 100 years ago and currently seating 5,200 fans, it will be expanded to accommodate 13,500 spectators, nearly tripling its capacity. With a striking three-tier design, the new stand will bring fans closer to the action, which will create an electrifying match day atmosphere. The improved sight lines will make the viewing experience unforgettable for every supporter. But the upgrades go beyond match days. A brand new club museum will celebrate Crystal Palace's rich history and legacy, while family-friendly zones will include entertainment, retail options, and expanded dining areas, creating a welcoming environment for all ages. The renovation is focused on sustainability, utilizing eco-friendly building practices with the ambitious aim of reaching net-zero carbon emissions. Construction for Selhurst Park's long-awaited redevelopment is finally set to kick off in 2025, with the grand reveal planned for the 2027 season. This transformative project has faced its fair share of hurdles. The original plans were submitted to Croydon Council back in 2018, but delays followed due to the pandemic and revisions prompted by fire safety recommendations. After years of waiting, the green light was given in late 2022, allowing Crystal Palace to embark on this ambitious upgrade. The construction of Selhurst Park will be carried out in phases to ensure the stadium remains operational throughout the process and to minimize disruption to the local community. 
Crystal Palace is committed to maintaining a smooth experience for fans during construction, with major work scheduled during off-seasons or less busy times. The early construction phases will focus on laying the groundwork and preparing the site for the more significant changes to come, while keeping other parts of the stadium operational. One of the most exciting aspects of the renovation is the independent expansion of the main stand. This will be developed separately from the rest of the stadium, ensuring that match days are as uninterrupted as possible. The new stand will be a striking addition to Selhurst Park's design, inspired by the glass structure of the original Crystal Palace, which once stood as a symbol of innovation and grandeur at the 1851 Great Exhibition. Achieving this balance requires careful planning to ensure the new updates align with the stadium's historic historic charm. Given the project's complexity, the club has selected Lendlease, a global construction firm renowned for its expertise in large-scale stadium developments, as the lead contractor. They will work closely with expert architects specializing in sustainable stadium design to ensure that the new Selhurst Park is environmentally friendly and future-proof. Steve Parrish, chairman of Crystal Palace, has thanked Croydon Council for their support of the stadium's restoration, highlighting that the project will bring vital investment to the area and breathe new life into the heart of Selhurst Park. Core 5, the club's cost consultant, and Mott McDonald, a leading structural engineering firm, are playing key roles in the project's development. Before construction can begin, several formal steps need to be completed, including the purchase of six homes on Wooderson Close, and five council-owned properties are already already being acquired, while the club is pursuing a compulsory purchase order for the remaining privately owned property. Throughout the planning and construction stages, Crystal Palace has maintained open communication with local residents and businesses. Some properties near the stadium may need to be temporarily relocated, and the club has committed to providing support to minimize the impact on those affected. This project goes beyond football, which is aiming to bring significant benefits to the broader community. It promises to support local businesses, attract more tourists, and generate new job opportunities. The revamped design of Selhurst Park will elevate its famous electrifying atmosphere by introducing modern facilities while staying true to its historic charm. Selhurst Park's expansion promises to be a game-changer, not just for Crystal Palace, but for the entire South London community. This ambitious project will inject new energy into the local economy, creating jobs across construction, hospitality, and stadium operations. It's not just about building a bigger stadium, it's about building a stronger connection with the community. The new stadium will feature energy-efficient systems and promote eco-friendly travel options, reducing its environmental impact. Beyond match days, Selhurst Park will become a hub for year-round activities, fostering partnerships with schools, charities, and initiatives like the Palace for Life Foundation to provide support and opportunities for local residents. With the increased capacity and enhanced facilities, Crystal Palace is gearing up to compete with the Premier League's elite, not just on the pitch, but in offering a world-class fan experience. The improved match day revenue and modern amenities will help the club close the gap with rivals who have already invested in cutting-edge stadiums. More than just a football venue, the transformed Selhurst Park will stand as a symbol of South London's resilience and passion. So what excites you most about the Selhurst Park redevelopment? Is it the modern design, the expanded capacity, or the impact it will have on South London? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe.